Hey, good morning, YouTube family. This is Robert with Coastal GX. We are heading down to Truck Toys this morning for something very special. Sandy is getting a suspension lift. This is not a body lift. This is not, you know, uh, just, you know, some special shocks or whatever. I'm talking the full deal. She's gonna get the whole service. We're looking at about a two inch, you know, close to two, two, two and a half inch lift just enough to get us some more clearance and um, to be able to fit some uh, meteor tires. Uh, so I'm very excited, man, very excited. Might be one of the very few, uh, probably what? Yeah, gotta be one of the few Lexus GXs in the Rio Grande Valley down in deep South Texas with a suspension lift, the full suspension lift. Um, I think I've maybe seen one other vehicle, but I don't really know how it was um, modded or anything like that. But uh, yeah, we're, so we're heading over there and uh, hopefully everything will go smoothly today. Uh, there's so many things we got to cover, but I am so excited. This is uh, going to be pretty cool, guys. Let's see how it goes. Hey guys, so Truck Toys already started working on Sandy. And uh, what I want to say is, I guess the reason, my whole goal was to, to do this. My goal was to do this with my son at home. Uh, Iron Man put up this awesome video, a tutorial video, and I leave the link in the description so you can go ahead and take a look for yourself. I have all the tools, I had everything, at least I thought. My wife had a very good conversation with me. I, I, I seem to get into stuff sometimes and you know, I think she was right this time around. So um, I went ahead, instead of doing it myself, doing it with my son, I decided to go ahead and uh, leave it to the experts. I feel a lot more comfortable bringing it here. I just didn't know if there was a shop or how to go about doing it. But so far, so good. These guys have been very friendly. They've reassured me and uh, I feel very comfortable here. Uh, they already started working on Sandy and uh, I don't know, man, I, I can't wait to see the results. Let me break it down for you while the crew works on Sandy. Here is a quick and honest list of reasons as to why I wanted a suspension lift, tires and wheels on my 2012 Lexus GX460. Number one. The lifted setup looks badass. <laughs> Just kidding, but it's sort of true, and anyone saying otherwise is a straight up liar. Number two, a suspension lift provides much needed clearance. My experience driving on the beach tells me you need separation from the sand and salt water, not to mention the treacherous debris. Number three, tougher tires for tougher trails. I went with 285, 75, 17 BF Goodridge KO2s with an E rating that's a 10 ply for carrying extra weight on my camping trips. The added clearance will help too. In this chart comparison, you can see we gained over 3 inches of lift with the new tires alone. Number 4. Smaller wheels for more tire. The stock 18 inch OEM wheels are nice, but those 17 inch method race wheels in bronze look so cool. I went with the NV305s and a zero offset because I didn't want the wheels to stick out too far. A smaller wheel will help extend the tire contact when I deflate off-road. So I went shopping around, man, and not a lot of people wanted to, wanted to mess with it. I guess yeah. they have some sort of stigma or whatever. How do, how do you treat you know, those clients that bring you something out of the ordinary? They don't bring you a Jeep, they don't bring you a Tacoma, they don't bring you a, a, a Ford. You know, how do you handle those things? Oh uh, man, we try to help everybody out as much as possible. You know, and pretty much any any type of vehicle you got, if you got an issue, bring it by. We're always here to help. And at the end of the day, you know what I mean? That's our main goal is helping out the customer and making sure y'all are happy with all your stuff and so enjoying this, your vehicle. Some of the most exotic vehicles that you've worked on, you, you were telling me about it, that at least suspension-wise, that you've been able to tackle successfully. Yeah, we've done, uh, 
Man, we've done Mercedes, did a couple G-Wagons. Uh, we had an Escalade on 37s, on 24s. We did a two and a half inch drop kit on an Alfa Romeo, little SUV. That thing was awesome. Super cool little car. We work on everything, man, from drag cars. We have all that stuff, so anything y'all need, we can help you out. <laughs>
So Sandy's not getting only wheels and tires, but new sensors, all the hardware. What's so important about the sensors and getting all this new stuff, man? So these sensors are very important, especially because when you're out there and you're, you don't deflate your tires, you poke a tire out there in the trails or wherever you are, it's gonna advise you real quick if you have a low tire pressure. And it's very important to go look around your vehicle if that light is on, just because it's not, it's gonna let you know they have a low tire pressure and you're not gonna damage your tire. You're gonna catch that in time. Right here, I'm just torquing the, the sensor, the grommet to the correct torque spec so that way we don't get any leakage uh, in the valve stem. Perfect. Right here, I'm just measuring so that way we don't scratch the wheel. I'm just measuring so that way, this is called a duck head, guys, so that way it doesn't scratch the wheel. We don't come close to it. We just get it as close as, close as possible so that way we don't hit anything and scratch and damage any wheels. And then we just tighten it, and there we go. Making sure we go to the correct side, which is the DOT out always, guys. There we go. Right now, just be careful if you're in, if you're wearing your earphones because you're gonna hear a loud blast. There we go. That right there is just trying to see it, see see the beat to the wheel. First time. When you're putting a brand new tire in there, it's going to be hard. Second time, it's pretty easy. One down, three more to go. I mean, why is it so important to put a, a valve cover on it? A lot of people just leave it out, but when you go off-roading, it's important, right? Yes, it is. There is a reason. It's not because your air is gonna escape through there, guys. Uh, well, there is one. There is one. Uh, that's one thing. It does help you out if, in case your valve core or something happens to your valve core, it'll stop it from leaking. Another thing is that that prevents from um, from water humidity to get in there and then cause problems to that valve core later on when we try to take off those uh, valve cores out and deflate the tire. So just be careful guys, make sure you do get a set of valve caps in there or, or just stop at any discount tire and we'll give you some for free. Got the wheels, got the tires. Man, what a friendly staff over here. This is the discount tire located uh, in Edinburgh, the corner of uh, McCall in Trenton. And uh, just so happy, and I, I really, lucked out the well first of all everybody was super nice but i was extra lucky extra blessed because the gentleman that was helping me javi it turns out you know he's a he's a, one of the subscribers to coastal gx he drives a sweet sweet tacoma he is an enthusiast and he gets out there as much as he can and um he's got some methods on in his truck as well but uh he was able to help me out and more than that he was able to provide me with uh some information as to you know some little tidbits about you know the tires and you know why this and why that and the little technical stuff and things that most people don't understand because sometimes let's be frank a lot of folks they will buy the tires only because of the looks or they just want the look of it or whatever um you know but there is there's something behind it all okay it's not just about looking cool you know it's also there's a reason for having certain tires and, and you know it, it, it all depends on what you're going to do for my application this was the right move i really believe that it was the right move so now what we're going to do is we're going to head back head back to uh truck toys justin and the gang and uh see if we can fit these in Put these on and uh, let's see how bad the rubbing is going to be it's got a zero offset i mean i went very conservative with it it's pushing more like your 34 34 uh, inch tire 
um, at the end so it's a little on the, on the larger end but it's gonna be a thinner a thinner uh, tire not as wide you know so I don't know I, I Javi thinks it's gonna be okay if anything it's just gonna be a little bit here and there but we're gonna find out were on but we weren't out of the woods yet there was some major rubbing going on so justin identified some key spots that needed to get chopped don't think for one second that i wasn't cringing while they took the sawzall and grinder to sandy i knew this was coming but it still hurt After a body mount chop and some trimming, it was time to get Sandy aligned. Guys, here we are two days later. We had the install back on Friday. Unfortunately, I ran out of battery, <laughs> ran out of batteries. It was a very long day. Uh, going back and forth, you know, discount tire, and we still had to uh, get the alignment done on the on, on Sandy here, but everything turned out okay. But I still didn't feel like it was enough to wrap it up. So here I find myself driving down the street here, trying to get to the highway. Once I get there, I want to take it to some highway speeds. I want to make a very honest review or honest uh you know outcome as to how it is you know uh to have a suspension lift on your otherwise very civilized uh lexus gx460 and uh obviously i've only driven it i think i've, I've only had like up to 45 miles an hour so far so good there's nothing weird the alignment's perfect there's no bouncing, there's no rattles, noises, nothing like that. Um, but I wonder how it would be to take it up to 75, 80 miles an hour on the highway. So we're gonna see how that turns out. So another thing I wanted to test right now is also the acceleration. See what the difference is gonna be the noise is almost minimal. Let, let, let's, let's punch it here a little bit. Let's see what happens. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Picked it up to 60 uh, just to pass that vehicle. I will say this, it feels, it does feel a lot sluggish, a lot more sluggish than it was before. 265s we went from 265 uh 60s to 285 75s in all terrain that's a big difference so now i'm getting it back on the highway oh yeah you feel the difference it's not the same clearly not the same but i just want to see how it deals with it now i'm up to 70 Still, it's nicely balanced, doesn't feel bad, but it is not the way the highway tires would normally behave. So guys, I found myself a little gravel road here, and uh, I can tell you it is, that it is super smooth. I mean, I've taken these before with a prior uh, with a prior uh, set of wheels that I had, and of course, there's nothing to it. There's a little bit of a washboard type of uh, 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 you know surface to this particular dirt road, and uh, man, it feels so smooth. 
riding over it. Yeah, I guess you could say, I mean, that's why they're off-road wheels, right? I mean, that's why they're all, it's an off-road suspension. It's unfortunate though that I don't have any a place to, you know, use the articulation to see if there's any rubbing, you know, I mean, we already tried to test, you know, to see that if there was any rubbing and they eliminated that. Well guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the wrap up. Uh, came out here, you know, to a gravel road. I know that's kind of lame. It's not what I wanted, but that's what I got in my area. So that's kind of realistic. Um, I guess we're gonna have to do an update, right? And put it to the test when, you know, time permits, we can actually get it out there. But um, anyway, I, I'm gonna be, there's other things to consider here. It's gonna be um, maybe the, the, the fuel, the gas mileage, you know, is, is, are things gonna change? Is it gonna be, um, worse than it, than what it already is because it was getting dismal dismal uh, mileage on the GX as expected it's old hat everybody knows that but um, yeah I, I'm just wondering how it's gonna be with with these uh, new uh, wheels and tires with this new setup and of course you know adding more stuff to the top of, um, uh, of, of Sandy here to the roof rack I'm happy man I'm happy. This is what I wanted. I did my research and uh, I'm very happy that I'm going to have the opportunity to have the tools and, uh, you know, I just need, you know, our overlords to release some of these uh, uh, strict rules on us and allow us to get to some of these uh, parts so we can do a little social distancing of our own, you know, camping out and whatnot. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, if this helped in any way, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like button, it really helps. And uh, check in the description, you can uh, check my merch. If you guys are interested, you wanna support the channel that way, I'd appreciate that too. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one.